Hello, sports fans, and welcome to Thunder Weekly. I'm Rick Keith. With me, Al Eschback. And, Al, we are at one of our favorite places, Louis Grillin Bar on Southwestern and 89th. What a great place. All over the world they're going to be. Yeah, they're going to soon be all over the world. They're all uh, over the metro area now. Amazing. Uh, just great place, great menu. Tremendous uh, place to watch the NBA in March Madness. March Madness is coming up, and it's a great place to be and watch it. And also Adam Cody and his, and his staff will take care of you, whether it's lunches or dinners. They've got everything on the menu under 10 bucks, and it's a great place. Wonderful food, wonderful atmosphere, big screen TVs. If you're looking for watching a sporting event, especially March Madness, come by any of your local Louis Grill and Bars in the metro area. Al, it looks like the Thunder have kind of righted the ship. They're, they're playing much better now than they were in that losing streak. Well, yeah, I mean, a really embarrassing loss to L.A. Lakers in L.A. I mean, that, that where the defense, uh, uh, you know, two straight games where, you know, Gerald Green goes off over 40 and then uh, for Phoenix, and then Jody Meeks with the Lakers goes off over 40 with the primitive defense was just absolutely horrific. Yeah, they had the stat where the, on, the only – Perimeter defense worse than the Thunder with the Philadelphia 76ers. You don't That's, want to be in the same company no, as the 76ers. You don't want to even want to be in that same sentence with the 76ers. They are the absolute worst in the NBA. But, you know, the last two victories uh, last week, good victories. They beat the Rockets in a good way, and I want to talk a little bit more about that. But, you know, they, they're – They've got Russell Westbrook back, more dynamic than ever, more explosive than ever, and what a difference he makes. Well, despite uh, I get the calls much, well, they probably need to tra trade Westbrook or not start him, whatever I mean. Uh, uh, it it's kind of funny that there are some people here that simply do not appreciate Russell Westbrook, who's one of the top ten players in the NBA. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's when he was coming back. And, he, and when he's playing well, he's one of the top five or six. He's unbelievable. You know, he, you know what he does, and, uh, and he, he makes people better. Yes, he does, because he's so explosive and gets to the rim, and, and we'll talk more about that. But let me, I want to welcome a new sponsor for Thunder Weekly, Pro Power Equipment at 7405 South May Avenue. Featuring Honda and Steel, Shindawa, Cub Cadet, and Gravely Equipment. Buy where the pros buy. That's Pro Power Equipment with Honda, 7405 South May Avenue. We'll be right back after this. And welcome back to Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath, Al Eschback from Louis Grill and Bar on Southwestern and 89th. Great place to come and watch March Madness. Great food. They got drink specials every night. Plus, nothing over $10 on the food menu. A great place to come, Al. Absolutely, especially with nothing over $10. That's right. Well, you know, that and the drink specials, you can come in yeah. for 10 bucks, you can have a great meal, and for a couple more bucks, you can have a great drink and, or a beer, whatever they want. And a place to watch March Madness. March Madness coming up. And uh, March, March has been a kind of an up and down thing for the Thunder. Um, they started out not doing real well, had a, as we talked about in the last segment, a couple bad losses. But the Houston Rockets came in, and after that embarrassing loss to Los Angeles in L.A., they come back and they're facing the hottest team in the NBA in the Houston Rockets, winners of eight straight and 16-17 and since January 29th. And the Thunder came up back with that victory against the Rockets? Oh, it's a game they had to have because they hadn't been playing well. I think when you start losing, you start losing confidence, and uh, uh, and here you are trying to get the home court advantage throughout the playoffs, and uh, you have a lot at stake, and you just couldn't explain why they were playing so poorly. There was no reason why they were playing so poorly on defense. No reason. Well, you know, I, I hope that the Thunder look back and say, you know, that was probably a key victory for us because it, it got them back focused on defense. Their offense was fine. They had big leads in all of those losses. They just couldn't focus on defense to stop anybody. And you mentioned Meeks for the L.A. And, and Gerald Green for the Phoenix going off for 40 plus. That just, that should have woke them up. But until the Rockets came in, they really didn't start clamping down on defense until that game. Well, and they did it. How about the job? They, they shut the, uh, Dwight Howard down. Great inside defense. Steven Adams, I thought, was outstanding. Oh, his athleticism gave Howard a lot of problems. Well, you know, and, and two things about that. Steven Adams is growing up right before our eyes. You know, he's learning the NBA game, you know, and getting more confident and, and knowing what to do. And the second thing is, 
is you have to hand it to, to Kendrick Perkins for this one thing. He has been working with Steven Adams on positioning against Howard because Perkins' key is not to let Howard set up low. Meet him up just at the three-point line and keep him out yeah, there. Yeah, and I thought Adams does something that Perkins can't do, and that was like block shots and <laughs> everything, and that really messed with, uh, with Howard's mind, I thought, and some good help by Ibaka. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it just, it, it just, Adams is growing up. He, he's going to be a very, very good player. I don't think he'll ever be a great player, but I think he got a chance to be a very, very good player. Well, he's going to be a player that can play tough defense. He's physical. He can rebound. He can block he's a shot. He's athletic. Yes. Got good hands, too. Yeah, he's got really, really good, good hands, hands, which, you know. You can get the ball in him. You're going to throw the ball. You're not going to throw the ball inside the Perkins. You can throw the ball into him. They, he's got, he's the only, the last center that had good hands was Christie. <laughs> That's a long time you ago. You got that right. You know, yeah. and so they, he's got the best hands since yeah. then because Perkins has horrible hands, I'm sorry to say. The beat's got horrible hands, you know, so. He's got those, he's, he's young, he's got great legs, he's got great potential, and he's doing a good job now. And he's, it's a learning process for him. I mean, here he is his first year in the NBA. Uh, I, I just think he, he got a chance to be a really good center for well, he's gonna be, And he's going to be an integral part for years to come. No doubt that, about for, it. For, you know, absolutely. And it solidifies yeah. that, that center you know, position for the Thunder because, I mean, you've got three top players in Durant, Westbrook, and now Ibaka. So then you give him a solid player like Adams, and then you fill in the blanks. The pieces. Yes, around that with a defensive stopper, you know, if they lose Cephalosha to free agency. Or, or the question is, will they have Derek Fisher at, at 44 years old? Well, I tell you what, he is playing so well, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. But, golly, the, you know, in the, in the uh, Rockets game, they got great contributions from Derek Fisher. And from a new addition, Karam Butler. Absolutely. So that was the that was well, the combination ending of the game. Well, and that, yeah, it looked like that's what he's going to go with now. It looks like in, in the end of games uh, of the big three, Abaka, Durant, and Westbrook, and then the two veterans, Karan Butler and Derek Fisher. Well, you know, Scott Brooks is more comfortable with those veterans in there, especially playing the way they're playing. Yeah. You know, yeah. Derek Fisher is yeah. probably playing the best until Westbrook came back. He was playing best other than Durant I, on the team. I, there's a, a sense of confidence that Brooks has in those five players out there. Well, there's a lot of confidence when you're hitting 50% from well, three-point land yeah, like and, Fisher yeah, is. And, and they play smart, too. We, again, you, you got those the big three, and then you put the two KG veterans in Butler and Fisher, who both can flat-out shoot three-point shots. Darnell Mayberry made a point about Karan Butler. With two minutes or so to go in the game, the Thunder got a rebound. They were up by five or six, and... Um, so Karan Butler gets the ball right at half court. And so Brooks is over there trying to signal to, to slow it down, slow it down. Before he even gets the signal in, Karan Butler has pulled the ball out. Right, exactly. Back. Yeah, ab absolutely. Veteran, yeah, veteran yeah, play. Absolutely. You, you got to love that. The veteran play. Hey, we're at Louis Grill and Bar on Southwestern and 89th. And we are having Thunder Weekly here. And March Madness is coming up, Al. A great place to be for March Madness here at Louis Grill and Bar. We'll be right back after this. And welcome back to Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath, Al Eschback. Let me tell you about a couple of advertisers that I really believe in here and have supported Thunder Weekly. Sun and Ski Sports. Sun and Ski Sports on 10109 North May Avenue in Oklahoma City, next to Woodland Hills Mall in Tulsa, and in Norman at Sooner Mall. Sun and Ski Sports has all you need for the upcoming spring. If you're looking to be outside, before you do go outside, go to Sun and Ski Sports. They've got all the equipment you need, whether it's hiking, camping, or water sports, all available at Sun and Ski Sports. Plus, they've got a great season-ending ski sale right before spring break, so get out to Sun and Ski Sports. Also, RainGuard. RainGuard will take care of all your needs for your gutters. Plus, they're the home, the only home in Oklahoma City for the gutter helmet. So never clean your gutters again. But first, get your gutters from RainGuard. Four metro locations. They offer over 30 years of service, and they have free estimates. So give RainGuard a call today. Al, let's talk real quickly again about intensity on the defensive end. We touched on it against the Rockets, but that seems to me to trigger the rest of the, the, the Thunder's playing ability well and also if, if you, you 
with your defense improved, you get steals, you have to get the fast break going. And that's critical. So I, I think well, I think they play better when they've got that up the up tempo style going. No doubt about it, especially with Westbrook uh, running the show. Well, I mean, and there's nobody better from 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 the one basket to the other than Russell Westbrook. He, he does things that no other point guard in the league can do uh, since Derrick Rose is hurt, but he does things that nobody else can do. You know, and Derrick Rose may not be able to ever do those again. I know. Yeah, we don't know we what's going to happen. We don't know. Yeah, but, I mean, Russell know. Westbrook, as much as we've talked about his injuries, has not slowed down a bit. He still is the fastest from one baseline to the other in the NBA. He is so explosive. And then My when he goodness. gets to the rim, he can finish. Yeah. Yeah, and that, or he gets fouled. Or, and now yeah, he's only 88% free yeah. throw shooter. Yeah. You know, and so with, with what the Thunder are doing right now, they bring the intensity on defense. The offense takes care of itself because they get turnovers on, off of defense, they get fast breaks off of defense, and that triggers everything else. And I think that's the one thing that they had to get back to, and that's what they did against the, the Rockets and the Lakers. Yeah, and, and I thought it was kind of interesting that Patrick Beverly tried to get under Westbrook's skin in the Rockets game, and it shows the maturation of Westbrook because uh, the game before in L.A., he just exploded, got a technical, and I wouldn't be surprised in that Houston game if, if Kevin McHale, the Houston Rocket coach, said, hey, Patrick, see if you get under his skin because look what the Lakers did and look how it works. Yeah, and so they were trying, and, and like you said, credit to uh, Russell Westbrook, he goes, hey, I'm just going to beat you with my game. I'm not talking. I'm not flapping my lips. I ain't going to beat you with my game. He goes off on him, gets him fouled out, you know, and, and does a great job responding to what I consider cheap shot there at the very first timeout again. I mean, it – he went after him just like he did when he hurt him. Now, people can say what they want to. That's not basketball. That is trying to uh, intimidate by... He's trying to get under his skin. I don't yeah. think anything he was doing is dirty. He's just trying to get it. It's old-time basketball. Well, and probably Kevin McHale, McHale's an old-time basketball coach. And I, yeah, I don't have a problem with old-time basketball, but when you have already injured a guy from that type of thing and you try to do it, that borders to me on a cheap shot action. Uh, so, it, it, didn't you know, it didn't bother me. I mean, it, 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 it's, a, it's again, they're trying to get under his skin and, and Westbrook did the right thing. Westbrook was really cool. You know, he sat down after the thing happened, yeah. and then he came back up and he and, just said, okay, And Brooks did a me. good job of setting him down. Absolutely. I did thought a, that he was He did a great, great job. You know, so now they've got, you know, the Batman and Robin of, of the Thunder are back. Well, and I, I, you know what's going to be interesting to see play out in, in these, the last few games in, in the uh, playoffs is, I think Jeremy Land, I think he's out. I don't think he's going to get many minutes at all, critically. Reggie Jackson, don't know, uh, because his defense just had me, like I said, Late in games, we saw now, he's on the bench. So let's, I want to see what the role Reggie Jackson plays uh, here down you know, the stretch. And, and, and so you're right, because as we said earlier in the segment, Scott Brooks is more comfortable with Derek Fisher and Karan Butler and the big three Yeah. at the end of the game. Yeah. That's it. That's his finishing team. When the, when the minutes mean something and the game is on the line, that's who he's comfortable with having in there. Well, it, that's – Five pretty intelligent players also, <laughs> yeah. is it not? Well, two of the most dynamic offensive players. you got the number one shot blocker, and you've got two veterans that have won championships. Well, and in case of, of Derek Fisher, multiple championships. Yeah, uh, it, it, it is totally amazing. Uh, you know, you look at surprise in this team, the biggest surprise may be Derek Fisher, the way he's played this year. I, you know what? When they brought him back, I thought, okay, so he's going to be a bit player. He's become a dynamic defender. Yeah, Again. exactly. That's exactly. Because you know what? He's like a bulldog. He gets out in front. That Reggie Jackson needs to learn from Derek Fisher. Reggie Jackson should be an outstanding defensive player because he's so athletic and long. And he should be able, and we'll talk more about that in the next segment. But let me tell you, are you hungry for real Mexican food? Well, here's a new place for you, El Ranchero Mexican Restaurant in Norman. It's at 3042 South Classen Boulevard. Uh, south of uh, Highway 9, uh, just to the south of the new Buffalo Wild Wings and across the street from McDonald's, they have great, authentic family recipes featuring chilorianos, enchiladas, and more. And they have their grand opening again this weekend where they're having half-price dinners. Go by El Ranchero Mexican Restaurant in Norman, 3042 South Classen Boulevard. You won't regret it. It's great Mexican food. We'll be right back after this. 
And welcome back to Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath, Al S. back from Louis Grill and Bar on 89th and Southwestern. Great place to come for March Madness. If you're looking for a place to come, great food, nothing over $10, great beer specials and drink specials, and March Madness with 20 screens, big screen TVs. Louis Grill and Bar is a great place to come. And they're all over the place uh, in the state of Oklahoma. And it is. It's, it's a great place. It's been around for a while, the first Louis on Campus Corner in Norman and... Uh, you, can f you can find the Louie guy here too occasionally. Uh, if you were looking for the Louie guy, come by this Louie's location or any of the metro locations and find the Louie guy. He's giving away free stuff during March Madness. So come by and look for the Louie guy. Let me thank some more sponsors for Thunder Weekly. The Trails Golf Club in Norman. The Trails, great, great place for you and your family for spring of 2014. If you're looking for a place for the family to play golf on a championship location and a great club atmosphere and family atmosphere. Give the trails a call at 360-1920. That's the pro shop, or you can give Kathy Hess a call at 364-3790 for membership specials. That's the Trails Golf Club in Norman. Also, RainGuard, four metro locations. They have over 30 years experience installing gutters. They give you free estimates, and RainGuard is also the home of the gutter helmet. Never clean your gutters again when you get the gutter helmet after RainGuard installs your gutters. Give them a call. Also, Pro Power Equipment, the Honda Pro Power Equipment at 7405 South May Avenue, where the landscaping and mowing pros buy their equipment. If they buy it there, you know that they're buying the best, most durable, best equipment. Names like Honda, Gravely, Cub Cadet, Still, and Shindawa. All that professional power equipment available at Honda Pro Power Equipment, 7405 South May Avenue in Oklahoma City. Now let's talk uh, about, you were talking about Reggie Jackson and the lack of defense. Now, Reggie Jackson, when Russell went out, kind of struggled, but then he started playing really, really well. Now he's back to not playing as well. My question to you, Al, is does that enhance his ability to, for the Thunder's ability to re-sign him at a, it, it, at a better it, it, price? It, 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 yeah, his price has dropped. There's no doubt about that. The thing what's going to happen, it's going to be up to Reggie Jackson. Is Reggie Jackson go, okay, you know what? If I'm here, I may get a championship ring, I'm never going to be a starter. I can go someplace else, maybe not get a championship ring, but I can be a starter. So, I, I, as the season kind of go, goes dilemma. along, I kind of think he's going to leave. That would, be, that would be my guess. Well, you know, and if, if that happens, if they can't resign him to extension, I would think they would trade him uh, sometime next year before the trading deadline. It would just... That's my guess, but if he, it's up to what Reggie Jackson wants, but his minutes are dwindling. Yeah, you know, and, and I don't, you know, Jeremy Lamb was projected, and they played him a little bit to start of the season as a backup point guard. I'm not sure he can handle that, but that would be an option if Reggie Jackson left. But I think it's going to come down. He's not going to get a big contract like he was hoping for as a free agent. So maybe he does, play, you know, sign a three-year deal and, well, and gets more, more experience and becomes a better guard and then signs the big contract. Yeah, again, it's going to d depend on what his mindset is on, on the whole thing. So... Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure he's not happy like in late game situations that he's not in there now. Well, you know, and, and that's just, you know, he, he's not playing a good enough defense to do that's that. That's exactly and, right. You know, when, when he's a young guy under 25 and is not playing that defensive yeah. intensity that a 39-year-old well, Derek Fisher, and, 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 40-year-old Derek Fisher. And that's the same with Jeremy Land. Same yeah. thing with, with both those guys. You know, and somebody that's given some good quality minutes has been Perry Jones here lately. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I've been pleased with what he did. And, did some nice defensive things early on Harden when the Rockets were in town. Well, I tell you what, now, if he could just make that corner three-point shot, you know, consistently, give him a 35 to 38, 40% three-point shooter, he would be a really a valuable piece. Another Baylor guy who underachieved in college. Yeah. Now, I want to go over, yeah, no kidding, in college and gets out and he's really, really yeah, he's a good player. Uh, good player. Um, I want to go over uh, the CBS top 10 power rating in the NBA with you real quickly. Now, this was last week before the Rockets played the Thunder, but they had the Rockets 
number one in the NBA because they had the best record since January 29th. Well, they don't know what they're talking about because San Antonio has been playing better than anybody else in the league. And that, you know, but that's, they were kind of on a week by week basis. And they yeah. thought, they thought, but you're right. I think San Antonio, golly, how tough are they all the time? You well, they're, they're, they're real tough. I mean, they're just, they're really, well, they're getting older. They can't do this, can't do this. People keep on forgetting. If they hit a free throw, they're the world champions right Last now. Last year, yeah. that's right. They're 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 so people world forget champions. just a year ago. Yeah, you know, um, the Indianapolis and Miami had some losses, same as the Thunder, so they've dropped down in that thing. And they go Houston Clippers, Spurs, which we talked about, Miami, Indy, then Thunder. I think that's kind of where the Thunder were because they weren't playing well. They were well. then. Now they're, they're yeah, you know, yeah, that's, uh, Miami's lost four out of five. Yeah, and so now Miami's dropped. Yeah, now, you know and Miami the pace is struggling. That. Pacers are struggling. Yeah, you know, Cl the Pacers are struggling. Clippers so. are on fire. Yeah, Clippers, Clippers are really. Are, you know, they may be. They, that's going to be tough any way you look at it. Hey, that's going to do it for this week's show. Rick Heath, Al Espec. Follow us on Facebook at Joe Fan Sports. That's going to do it for this week's Thunder. Week. Oklahoma City team injured. And now, with a turnover and rush. Back is the way you say rush. Well Welcome to Oklahoma. That's how you say it. Robinson has his hand on the ball.